What's going on guys? So we are here in front of my truck and this is gonna be an interesting video because we're gonna talk about something that every vehicle needs, every vehicle uses, but oftentimes are kind of overlooked or you just go to your local big box store or local auto parts store to purchase whenever you need them. Now, I've always been a bit of an advocate to save money in this specific space only because I've always felt that the options out there aren't necessarily worth what you pay for them. Hopefully this video might change your mind about a new product. So hang tight, I'll be right back. And what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about windshield wiper blades. Now, for most people, you just simply go to your local auto parts store and you purchase new windshield wiper blades. Typically, they're gonna have four or five different types of blades for your specific vehicle. And the blades will range anywhere in price between about 11 to $12 per blade, all the way up to about 20 to $35 per blade, depending on what brand you're getting and what their claim to fame is on that specific blade. But again, I've never really felt that they're worth the price that you pay. When you pay for like the 11 or 12 dollar blades you definitely feel like you're getting the most budget blade you can and the quality just isn't really there they just don't seem like they're going to hold up very long but when you pay thirty dollars for a blade it seems like you're getting a blade that should be made out of platinum or titanium and should never fail on you but at the end of the day what ends up happening is they all seem to work about the same for about the same amount of time before they start going out so what i've started doing is buying my blades off of amazon now i'll typically look for the right size blade i'll usually look for a mono blade which is a blade that basically has kind of a, a bend to it and then it just uses kind of that bend as force against the windshield to scrape away whatever's there. But you know in some cases I find some of the traditional style blades that have a bunch of little arches that go across them and those essentially act as springs to hold it up against your windshield. But I'll usually get a set of blades for about 20 bucks a set, maybe $25 a set for a quality blade. And again for the most part they last about as long as any blade that I've purchased at AutoZone or any of the other big boxes stores. Now while I was talking to the folks over at eTrailer they had picked up a brand of windshield wiper blade that I had never heard of before. Well I feel like I've heard of it before but I didn't really think about it until they picked it up and I was talking to them and there were some very interesting and unique characteristics about these blades that certainly make them stand out from the traditional blade you can pick up at an auto parts store or the blades that you might see on Amazon. So let me show you what we got today. All right, so in front of me, you were looking at Scrub Blade. Scrub Blade is a very, very unique blade because it does something that you traditionally don't see on normal windshield wiper blades, whether you get them at a big box store or whether you get them online. And it does something that kind of emulates technology from a long time ago. Way back in the past, you used to be able to purchase these double blades. Essentially, it was like two windshield wiper blades attached together like this. They were kind of effective in terms of, you know, cleaning off your windshield, but they were real bulky and they weren't supported by all vehicles. Well, Scrub Blade has a very, very unique feature to them. And as I zoom in here, look what it is. It's two wiper blades on each wiper arm. So you actually have two surfaces that are gonna scrub your windshield versus a traditional one that you see on most windshield wiper blades. Now you would think that these are gonna be like twice as expensive as traditional blades, but they're not, they're about the same price. Usually anywhere between about, I'm gonna say $17 to about $23 per blade, depending on the size. And when you go to the really, really long ones, like the 26 inch long blades, which, you know, there's some vehicles that might need one of those, but then they use a smaller, shorter blade on the other side. They can get up in the $23, $24 price range. But what you're looking at in front of you are blades that fit my truck. They're 22 inch blades and they're under $20 per blade. And the two types of blades you're looking at are their platinum, which is this blade right here, and they're heavy duty, which is this blade. And you can see their heavy duty has more of that traditional kind of multi-arm approach to its design. It looks and feels a little bit more basic in terms of its overall construction, but the actual scrubbing surface right here is stiffer than the Platinum. Now the Platinum is that monoblade technology. You can see the arch right here. And this is more in line in terms of looks and function to a lot of the blades you might see at a big box store or an auto parts store. The difference here is you get two slightly softer scrubbing surfaces versus the heavy duty. So the heavy duty, again, the rubber right here is a little bit firmer and it's designed to scrub things off a little bit better. However, on the Platinum, you still get two. They're a little bit softer and these are probably more in line with what most people will put on their vehicle. That being said, 
they're actually the same price. So you pick which one you want for your application. Now what I'm gonna do, even though I have two of each, I'm gonna put one heavy duty on and I'm gonna put one platinum on. And I'm gonna use them for you know an extended period of time on my truck. There's one thing we get down here in South Texas is we get a fair amount of rain for the most part. And when that rain comes, we oftentimes get to really test out how our windshield wipers are gonna work, especially if you're in the middle of a tropical storm or something that is really pouring rain down. I'm gonna install these in place of the two blades that I have on there. I'll probably put the platinum in front of me and then I'll put the uh, heavy duty on the passenger side just so I can get a better idea of how these are gonna function overall in the long term, comparing one versus the other. And then ultimately I'll be able to come back at a later date and give you my opinion on truly which one is gonna work better for a pickup truck environment. Now, the folks over at eTrailer have a really awesome video. They actually throw a bunch of mud on the windshield of a vehicle and they show both of them. And it certainly shows the heavy duty model really clearing off the big chunks of mud a little bit more effectively than the platinum but when it's normal rain, if it's sleet, if it's things like that, they're both probably gonna work really, really well with the Platinum possibly edging out the heavy duty in terms of cleaning quality. What I mean by that is, you know, how much it actually takes off in terms of rain and water, but I don't really know. It's gonna be interesting to test the two out and, you know, it's gonna be also interesting to determine which one I would ultimately wanna go with in the long term for my specific truck application. So again, we're gonna go ahead and get these installed on the truck. I'm gonna put this one on the driver's side, this one on the passenger side, do some testing now, and then at a later date, I'll give you a follow-up on how they're performing. Okay, so first we're gonna remove this Goodyear blade that I have on here. I'm not sure actually where I bought these. I might've gotten these over at an auto parts store locally, but I could've gotten them online. Gonna bend it back here. And, but then there's a little spring clip to pop it out like that. Again, I'm going to throw the heavy duty blade, which is this one, on this side. Simply feed it up and over. And that one's in place now. Okay, let's go to the other side and get the uh, Platinum Series installed. Okay, so now that I'm on this side, I'm going to open up the little tab here. Pop the blade out. Put the new blade in. I'm going to pop this little tab out on the new blade like that and then put that in and then pop that down, push it out in place and there we go. Okay, so again, single blade. This is a mono style even though you have these little brakes right here to account for the tapering of it. It's still one solid blade that runs across with essentially this spring arch behind it to press it in place. That is definitely more cosmetically in line to the Platinum Series. Because again, the Platinum Series kind of is the same way where it's just one long blade with uh, one support across the back that arches and pushes pressure against the windshield. Where this one is more traditional in terms of having all these little holders in place and these little spring clips that push it against the windshield. But yeah, this is what we took off. This is a Goodyear blade. Again, I don't recall where I got this specific blade. It's been a while, but I definitely uh, have blades from other manufacturers as well that I've tried. I'm really interested in seeing how these perform. So let's do a bit of a preliminary test. All right, so the test we're gonna do is gonna consist of two real life scenarios. I like what eTrailer did by throwing mud on the windshield of the vehicle. The problem is, is mud contains sand and sand can scratch your windshield. So I don't wanna scratch up the windshield of my truck. So I've opted to use really two scenarios. The first one is going to be my wife, my beautiful wife who I have next to me. Hey guys, how's it going? So she is going to manually operate the hose and just spray it on jet mode at the front windshield and we'll see how it wipes it off. I know that a lot of folks are going to say, you know what, it's just water, right? Any good windshield wiper blade should be able to clear water off of your windshield. However, the second test is going to be a little bit more entertaining and it will probably more closely emulate, you know, stuff you might actually get on your windshield in terms of consistency. But I'm going to leave that as a surprise for now. So you ready to hose down the front of my truck? Heck yeah, let's do it. This is like the first bath it's gotten in like a year, but <laughs> see what happens. Okay, so now we're in the truck, engine's running. I already sprayed the windshield down a little bit just to kind of get an idea of how you know strong the water flow would hit the windshield. We have it on jet mode and I'm gonna go ahead and have her start spraying. Okay, it's on automatic windshield wiper, so. Let's see if I can turn it up a bit higher. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can get her to go to the other side. It's 
So, kind of like I thought, you know, they're both doing a pretty effective job clearing rain off or water and, you know, this is a hose on jet mode. And then, you know, like I said, any new windshield wiper blade should work pretty well for just clearing regular rain off. And this is the automatic windshield wiper setting kicking in. All right, so let's go ahead and let her turn off the hose. I'm gonna do it one more time just to clear the water off. Yeah, did a really good job. Okay, so next we're gonna go with the trusty yellow mustard. Now mustard is interesting because it's not gonna be, you know, as light as rain. It's not gonna be probably as heavy as mud, but it's certainly gonna cling to the windshield a little bit more than most things that might typically hit your windshield aside from you know caked on mud and because I don't go mudding in my truck this is probably more realistic to what it would actually be like with you know splots of things hitting the windshield maybe even like bug guts so we're gonna hit the windshield with some mustard here mustard's cheap thankfully of course you got to go with the name brand stuff all right now let me go to the other side and put some on the windshield over there I think I put too much on the other side. Okay, there we go. So, looks like somebody vandalized my truck with mustard. Okay, we're back inside. This is the platinum blade. This over here is the heavy duty blade. So, there's a little bit more spread out here, but there's bigger glops of it right there. So. Let's see what happens when I, whenever I turn the windshield wiper on. Yeah. Okay, so that was just one round with the blade. You can see the platinum blade did not take off as much in its path as the heavy duty blade did. Okay, so the heavy duty blade still performing a little bit better. I think my air conditioner is actually starting to fog up the windshield a little bit, but you can see it all glumping up over here and down here as well. Now I wanna see how long it takes it to actually clear it off. So this side's pretty much clean. And then on this side, you can kind of see the same thing, but by the way, the mustard was really cold and that's why you're starting to see a little bit of condensation. So the condensation certainly isn't from the mustard in terms of you know smearing it. But look, the uh, HD blade is certainly doing a better job overall than the platinum blade. Now let me hit it with the windshield wiper reservoir. And I'm gonna do it until this side is completely clean because the passenger side is pretty much clean. And I can still see some smudging up here. So for the most part, it's taken it off. There's still a little bit right here, a little bit up here. The HD side is completely clean. I mean, it has cleared all of it off. So that is really crazy. Let's try it again here. And what's kind of happening is as this blade gets to the end over here, it's grabbing the material and kind of pulling it back down a little bit. And that's something that this blade doesn't have to deal with. As this blade brings it up, it's essentially being wiped down or wiped across this way. But still, I, I honestly believe that this blade is performing a little bit better than the platinum blade for this type of material. Now, normal rain, which is what most people will encounter, you know, they're both probably gonna work really well. I love this dual blade design though. That is really cool. Anyways, I'm going to get my wife again to hit the front windshield with the hose so we can get all this mustard off of the truck, and then we'll uh, wrap the video up. Okay, so, you know, wrapping everything up, I went out there and just kind of helped spray the rest of it off. <laughs> I got mustard everywhere. It was inside of the windshield wiper arms and the blades and between the blades. It was in the corners of the cracks up here, up top. But yeah, I got it all flushed out. Both blades are working really, really well right now that all the mustard's off. But, you know, I'm pretty impressed overall. I like this dual blade technology. That works really well. Me personally, though, I'm leaning more towards the HD blade. I really like the heavy duty blade. I think that for what I use it for, it would probably work out a little bit better for my application. But again, they're both about the same price. So it's not as if they're like tremendously more expensive than traditional blades on the market. And you essentially have four blades on the front of your vehicle now. Anyways, guys, I'll put a link in the description of this video to this product. I really appreciate my sponsors over at eTrailer providing these for review and evaluation. It was actually something I got kind of excited about, to be honest with you. I was real happy to be able to review windshield wiper blades because, you know, I typically buy them off Amazon or just go to the auto parts store and pick them up. And it was cool to see that they carry a really 
really innovative blade with some really distinctive advantages. Anyways, guys, I will give you a follow-up on these in terms of longevity and how they're performing overall and if we run through any major storms or anything like that and what their overall capabilities are. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, I'd really appreciate it if you took a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll be back to talk to you again very soon.